the large porch off of our house was one of the reasons that we decided to buy it. I absolutely love these outdoor spaces and my goal was to make it an oasis you wanted to be at all the time. We had siding done on the exterior as well as a patio door installed off of this porch during our major home exterior renovation we did last year. But now it's time for me to tackle the ceiling and bring some color and warmth into the space with wood. I ran planks of plywood and I attached them on the ceiling with a simple brad nailer. This was the very first thing I did to renovate the space and make it more of the oasis I dreamed of. This porch had a strange closet area off the side that my kids were using to store all their toys and it was in such bad condition. The original siding was still on there as well as some nasty vinyl carpet. The place was dirty and full of nails. It really needed a makeover, so that was the next thing I did after the ceiling. I came in and demolished the place, put a new door on, put up plywood walls to cover all of the nails, painted those, installed shelves, and then painted like every surface, the window, the ceiling, everything. I also completely destroyed and revamped a little kid's table and chair set to go in there as the furniture. I spray painted, reupholstered, and then I drew a map of the world on the top that I thought looked super cool and filled that in with Sharpie oil-based pen. This was a big job. You can see the amazing transformation of this space in the video linked in the description on this one. The next thing to fix on the porch was this terrible patch on the floor. So the part of the floor that was in good condition, I ended up just painting with a nice porch floor paint from Bear, but the patched area was definitely more work than anticipated. I pulled up the original patch thinking I would patch it larger with a more intentional looking plywood thing, but what I found underneath really shocked and disappointed me. The floor joists underneath were completely rotten and damaged. I could literally push them apart with my hands. So unfortunately we had to spend the time to build up a new joist system. My brother helped me with this part. Then I decorated a piece of thick plywood. Um, to be a geometric floor design, kind of like a DIY rug. I was really happy how this part of the porch makeover turned out. I think that this patch looks so interesting and intentional. The porch foundation also needed some love, so I patched cracks and holes, then I painted it black, and I refaced the sort of rotting, mostly just chipping um, wood on the plate with a kind of a veneer. It's a thin plywood. I'm not really sure how long this will last, but I did put on a top cap of metal flashing in order to prevent it from rotting from behind or water getting in the seams of the plywood. I also took a little time to make hanging planters. I used my scroll saw to cut a circle out of a square piece of wood, and then I strung paracord through it, tied it off, hung it up. I'll do a quick tutorial for this. I've done this in my bathroom upstairs too, and these are a really easy way to securely hang your plants. A lot of the leftover plywood that I had, I used to build a bed swing. Um, I also used some 2x4 pieces, and I'll do a tutorial on how exactly I built this bed swing um, in the near future. Next week, hopefully, I'll have that out. But it's a pretty cool design, very sturdy. I actually built it to hold up to a thousand pounds. Finally, it was time to start assembling the porch. So I'm laying down a rug here. This is going to be an area where I have a big dresser. This is like a dresser I redid in the past, just painting it white and making it into kind of a bench. I filled the drawers with toys for my kids. So this is an area for them to sit and play. Uh, and I just thought that this little corner with the hand lettered sign, sit and relax was very cute. Here my husband and I are bringing in the bed swing and I secured the ceiling joists um, above with 2x6s as well as had some heavy duty hooks to hang that. I am so, so happy with how the bed swing turned out. For lighting, I did a special light on the ceiling in the clubhouse so when my kids go inside it turns on when it's dark enough outside and then it automatically turns off after 20 seconds of no motion. I also ran rope lighting along the bottom of our board and batten siding in the whole perimeter of the porch. Our whole family is so excited to use the new porch. Here's my little Theo playing Legos in his bench. 
and I love to come out here so far and sit out here on my phone pretty much sitting and relaxing. It's so wonderful. I also feel like the bed swing is a perfect place to congregate, have a little snuggle with my husband, the sun sets off of this porch so we could watch the sunset, have some great conversation. My hubby also said it's the perfect place for his naps. Now it's time to let the pictures do the talking. Mm -hmm. 